here we are blazing through week 13 and we hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and a great days off filled with football, family, and some nice elves. Not the kind of L that Cowboys took, but you know what I mean. We have some pretty hot topics to go over this week, so let's get cushy and get right to it. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. Sounds like good, good. Yeah, we just want to fucking Thursday. Right? I just want to yeah. shout out at Couture for these wonderful Definitely shout out to on the gram at Couture. C-U-T-T-O-R-E. Lovely shirts. All right. Well, speaking of cushy, should the NFL let players use medical marijuana as an alternative treatment for pain management? You want me to take this? Yeah, take it. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen. As a weed smoker, you have a different... As a weed smoker, I still know um, that... I know the effects of uh, uh, weed. Uh, it, it does help with pain, but in a physical sport where you got what's required for you to run up and down the field and uh, get physical on the, the line for the coming up, oh, you said off season. Well, you still no. I think well, I didn't no. I, I think you know these these players are paid so much money. They need to be in tip top shape. We don't need to have anybody win it because smoking does wound you. That's the the actuality of it. You do get winded. By well, I didn't people. say smoke marijuana. There's other ways you can take it medically. Well, see, so you can see. eat it. You can use oils. They have like stuff. You well, can that I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't be opposed to. You know, I don't think any athlete should try. smoke. Yeah. I don't think they should smoke. They shouldn't be allowed to smoke. They should be really even allowed to drink. Like, I mean, we'll get into it with these Jets going but, out after one win. <laughs> they, they feel like they can go out and just fucking <laughs> smoke weed <laughs> and drink drinks. I think that they should bring weed into the NFL for the off season, especially people who are injured. Like if you're on the injury reserve list and Most of them your season's smoke. done, instead of giving people painkillers which have long term effects on the player where they could just, you know, smoke, eat it, you know, dab, whatever they gotta do to relieve the pain instead of taking Painkillers and I don't think I don't think they I think they that. regulate I think they got the part yeah they regulate but the same well, people that would get the opioids would be able to alternatively use cannabis for pain management because yeah, a lot true. of players have expressed that they're afraid to get addicted to the opioids and the painkillers so it's for right. players that need the treatment they're going to be on some kind of altering drug and hopefully they won't be running down the field because they're injured. But as a right. as an alternative, um, you know, last year they chose to include cannabis in their alternative pain management studies, which means that they'll look into the effects and the, the good and bad yeah. of the cannabis on the players. No, 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 just the use. Um, but as an alternative for opioids, yeah. So like instead of you taking like a Vicodin, you know, you smoke a blunt. I think that you're less likely to have like a you know, become addicted or not smoking or, you know, taking the jobs. I'm going to get the top-notch uh, pain med- um, management, mm-hmm. pain management, therapist, always on board, probably got laser treatment. Yeah. You know, yeah, they got so, top-notch yeah, they, got top, they just want to be yeah. able to, you know, That's if they do yeah. partake in that in the off season, they don't want to get in trouble for it. So just a fun fact that marijuana has cannabinoids in it that act as a neuroprotectant and help decrease the brain's response to injury, which means it has the great ability to stop inflammation of the brain, which is the hugest, hugest issue in the NFL, concussions and chronic traumatic encephalitis. So if these players who aren't gonna really be able to play like that as much anyway, can be treated for a concussion by using like a CBD oil or something else that they don't have to become addicted to, I feel like maybe they should be allowed to do that. Not to mention that the cannabinoids used from marijuana actually are one of the only drugs that are able to spread throughout the whole nervous system and reach all the receptors. There's probably a handful of human-made drugs that has that ability. So I feel like the cannabis, maybe not in smoking or flower form, has the ability to like help with a lot of issues that you know, football is really hard on the body. I feel like it would have a huge impact on treatment and pain management. I think they're gonna they're gonna switch to it at one point. Not 
they'll they probably, they'll, they'll they'll probably, they'll probably incorporate it, not just because Yeah, they're not just going to switch. Because you still got guys that's I'm sure like that, just, Yeah, but if you're hurt and on the list and you have, like, an actual doctor, like a pain management doctor that's, like, you know, control, yeah, and controlling what you take that's in the center third, I think that, it, it, with some control, I think that they could do it. I'm not saying yeah, everybody. I see what you're saying, like, nah, they shouldn't smoke because they got to train and all that, but, you know, there's other yeah. brands to take it. 